Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you look, click the like and, of course, the subscribe right and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all oh, center of revenue banger and you exclusively will definitely be notified. So, our brother. Dion to the bronze bomber water you know let's not forget that he's Nigerian as well <clears throat> because he has Nigerian blood in him around 32 percent or so or more and he was supposed to visit Nigeria Africa um, this year before the pandemic outburst and outbreak and yeah, kind of slow things down but he definitely will be there and i cannot wait to see the until water go to nigeria to reconnect with his ancestors but it looks like that might not happen due to the coronavirus you know ongoing pandemic right now that is just spreading all over the place and uh, it looks like we have to that's it he has to invoke the ancestors to be with him when he clash again with Tyson Fury. So, according to recent news, Deontay Water is in an amazing shape, <clears throat> okay, for Fury Trilogy. The former WBC heavyweight champion is already in amazing physical shape. According to the once beaten boxer, Pratij Rafa Akbejori. I just finished, um, Talking to Akbar Jerry about Deontay Water, he told me, he said, listen, Deontay Water is in a great shape. And it is something that we cannot deny. But let me just read Akbar Jerry's statement right here. Akbar Jerry said, I quote, based on what I know, the only reason that the only person that can beat Deontay Water right now is. Deontay Akbajiri to Sky Sports. He will beat Fury if he sticks to the game plan from his coaching staff. And I know that he has all the physical tools right now. He's in, he's, he's in amazing physical shape. That I can tell you for sure. You will see a completely different Deontay mentally and physically in the ring when the bell rings again for that third time, third fight. That I can tell you. You're going to have to wait for Deontay to break it down and address those rumors regarding his injury and fitness. Listen, I can tell you from my conversation with Deontay that he, that he was ready to fight Tyson Fury in July. The only reason why he didn't fight Tyson Fury in July was because the fight was moved due to the coronavirus pandemic and the lockdown that came after that, it does the same workout that we've been doing i don't know how somebody can be injured and do all that is really hard stuff i can tell you that for sure but concerning fighting tash fury he's extremely confident he's very excited about that third fight i can tell you for sure that he's very hungry and he's he's trying to get back into the ring as soon as possible he's in great spirits he decided to get back to fight tash fury I mean, fantastic statement coming from our brother Rafa Bajari, who of course fought a month, a month, a month ago, had a fight a month ago, and is now seven and zero. The guy climbing up, I call him the Nigerian Hurricane, and someone who's gonna do wonders in the division. Don't, don't blink. <clears throat> Bajari is a monster. Now regarding his statement about the underwater. Mm, Water, we know for sure, like, that, you know, we know what he lacks, you know. We know what he lacks. Um, the ski set has to improve, but being in amazing shape can also help. I don't think he was in shape the last time, though. Because you can you can tell that after, I think, three rounds, you know, you can tell that he, you know, he was, uh, he started breathing very hard, in a way. And I, I had to rewatch the game. But at the same time, that's not an excuse because Fury brought his game plan, his hay game, and 
executed its game plan perfectly. So the next fight, the trilogy bot is going to be very interesting. It's something that I want to see for sure. Who do I want to see win? Well, I want Wada to win. Why do I want Wada to win? Because he's Nigerian like me, okay? He has Nigerian blood name. Despite his ancestors, you know, uh, being in America for more than 400 years, they were taken from Nigeria and from Africa, you know what I mean? So he's, a, he's kind of acknowledged that. He's a guy that's not scared to speak about his roots. And I, I I like that, you know, in him, you know. So that's why, <clears throat> even though I might criticize Water sometimes due to his lack of bossing skills, um, there are things he needs to work on. He knows that. But being him being a Nigerian, having a Nigerian blood in him, I mean, I must support him. That's just a fact. So, um, Tajak Bay, of course, has a different opinion about this. And, uh,. Let's allow him to give his take. Bro, uh, what, what, what was the take on this statement, right, from our brother Akpajori? Well, Akpajori said, you know, what he saw. You know, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe he sparred Deontay Wilder and, uh, and that's what he felt, you know. But I highly doubt he's been around long enough with Deontay Wilder because uh, I've... I've, I've I've paid attention to Deontay Wilder's career, and it kind of seems like he has excuses and 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 not an answer. If we remember his performance with Luis Ortiz, um, you know, everybody said, "Oh, uh, you didn't look that good." Luis Ortiz almost hurt, almost took you out. It was, oh, I, I was injured in that fight. I was sick. I was sick. I had a flu. You know, we, I, did we forget that? No, no, we did not. That was this excuse for his poor, poor, you know, poor performance and lack of skill. And then with the first Tyson Fury fight, when he couldn't really do what he was supposed to do, with the lack of skill that he had, he had an excuse. Oh, first it was... I injured my hand and then it went to I broke my arm if we all if if people who follow Deontay Wilder <clears throat> remember so which is it you injured your hand or you broke your hand because the you, you, excuses are, are not adding up and I, I'm gonna call you out on it and it's time for you to answer it you're not just not gonna go by and not answer these these excuses you've continuously been making up since your career. And then he did it, he did it again with the even with the Dominic Brazil fight he had an excuse. And then with the Tyson Fury the third fight he had an excuse. He had an excuse coming from his team. He had excused people who were close to him. It it doesn't ever matter. You're telling me what Deontay Wilder is telling me he doesn't have. He doesn't have control of his team. You cannot let your team tell, be spewing garbage out there. You know, oh, an autopsy. Uh, 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 his bicep falling off the bone, torn bicep. Let, let me poke holes at this torn bicep and, and falling off the bone crap. If you tore your bicep, you would not be able to throw punches you would not be able to throw those bombs that you throw. You threw that in the third, in the second Fury fight. Like you were injured. You would not be throwing those jabs. You would not be stretching your arm out. It doesn't even matter if you're, if you're high, high, high pain tolerance or not. Your body won't let you do it. Because you're injured. So that's my problem with Deontay Wilder when it, when it comes to these things. You know? And then your team is coming out with these ridiculous act, uh, ridiculous uh, 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 excuses for you, and the people that say they are close to you and have spoke to, spoke to you are coming out with these ridiculous excuses. And you can't be p trying to paint a narrative to make yourself look like you were injured, because that's not how champions do. You know, you go back to the drawing board and you rewrite, and you work on your craft and you do it again. Up to this far, the, the the lack of skill is to blame on you and you only. 
because you've had enough time as a champion to actually craft on your skill instead of worrying about that right hand. You're not invincible. Everybody, uh, I've watched your fights and you have so many flaws. And you can be, Deontay Wilder can be great, but he, cho he chose not to. His team chose not to, but instead they want to make excuses for him. It doesn't make it. Do, it doesn't make sense what he's been saying this far, and I believe he needs to answer for them because you're not gonna have your team going around saying this and that and try to try to try to convince the boxing world, oh, you were injured when you were clearly not injured. Because when you injure yourself, when you go, I'm hearing stories. Oh, he injured himself. He went straight to surgery. No, he went straight to his hotel. Even when you get surgery, you still have to go through healing process. After the healing process, you have to go through physical therapy. After physical therapy is when you can punch. But I'm hearing, oh, he's in great shape. He's ready to go. He's ready. He's been ready to go uh, before the pandemic happened. He's been ready to fight since July on the uh, on the original date. You know. So what is going on? I'm I'm, I'm confused. You you had surgery. You were injured. They got you. You saw professional help. They they said, oh, you your, your head was dented in this and that. But you're ready. You're in great shape, miraculously, and you're ready to go. Uh, how are you in great shape? Did some, did the doctor did the doctor pump you full of some miraculous drug for you to automatically be healed up right away and and for you to be ready to go? Because the world needs to know about this drug because there's a lot of sick people and there's a lot of hurt boxers that might need this drug because it doesn't make sense to me how all of a sudden you're in great shape after going through surgery and after, after having a dent in your head from your team that said that from an autopsy it's that 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 doesn't for, for your team to say that one the disrespect you clearly you're not a champ Excuses come from excuses come from uh, 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 um, 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 people who 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 want to make up excuses, you know. AJ AJ from the go they said, oh you've been knocked out in sparring from the go, he nip, he nipped that in the butt. He's like I was not knocked out in sparring. I lost to a better man, plain and simple. AJ's team did not come out and say, oh, this and that, yada, yada, yada. People who know AJ did not come out and say it. He said, we're going back to the drawing board and we're doing it again. That's that's what he said. But wow, that I'm hearing like 30 million excuses over and over again. And for me, I'm not I'm not stupid. I'm not a sucker. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the way it is. That's why I'm gonna leave it. Thanks, brother. I mean I, I i kind of I, I kind of support your message in a way the but at the same time you know like water is not used to losing and when you lose for the first time like that it's a little bit different um joshua personal and water personal are just are just different you know uh, it's different um the water is one guy that he, he has water is a, is a nice guy you know but as a boxer he have those like you have a you have a you have a big mouth. He talks a lot, especially when it comes to knocking people out. And I mean, trash. I mean, his trash talk is can be can be seen as being too overboard sometimes. You know what I mean? But um, maybe he does that to save fights. Now he doesn't do. I mean, he's not done it for some time now. Is he lost? So we'll see what happens. Uh, I just want to see the bout. And yes. Do I think he win? He will. He, he, he win the, the trilogy. I don't know, man. I don't know because Fury is just too skillful. But I think his equalizer, which is the right hand, and probably listen. If he can work on, if he can add some arsenal to his, uh, if he can add some 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 stuff to his arsenal, I believe he will be able to do do something like to Fury. But I don't know if he will win it. But I hope he does. Stay blessed, young Christian boy guys. Like the video, share, subscribe as usual. We we'll give you guys the ball bangers. Now, beg, I tell you, I'm going to go follow me for Instagram. I want to reach 1k for that. I want to reach 1k for that. I'm going to go follow me for that because I want to start one show where I would uh, one program that I will uh, for the inviting for Instagram to join me on this kind of stuff.
But I'll go follow me, you, I beg. Hey, bless your eyes. Cheers.